you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I'm shaking, I'm sure you can tell, but I just found a pot full of silver coins and, and some other stuff in here. That's an 1877 Indian. Oh my word. Ray! <laughs> yeah, you got me, man. Ah. I know oh, I've been having a rough one oh, until look now. At it. Ah, yeah. Oh, it's a seated half, oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Ooh. God. <laughs> one live dig. Oh, my God. Yeah, 1875, baby. Hey everyone, so this this week is going to be a little different, uh, you know, we're all dealing with uh, the tough times here with COVID-19 and everything that it entails. Uh, we're all quarantined, we're all stuck at home, uh, we're all limited as to what we can do, so as you can probably uh, figure out the the spots to metal detect have become fewer and fewer uh, The places I've been going have uh, grown over they're getting tall uh, fields, you know hay fields and stuff uh, So, you know, there's there's a lot less places for me to go I, I know some places, but you know, they're picked over and you know new permissions are impossible right now, so it's tough, but luckily I've got a few uh, few videos that I took over the last couple of years uh, when I wasn't filming or I wasn't making videos um, that I've got kind of in the vault uh, got in the archives so uh, this this week is uh, gonna be a lot of you guys know when my channel started um, it wasn't just me it was me and my my buddy Ray Relic Ray and uh, so if you've been following me long enough uh, a lot of you guys have been wondering where he is. Well, he's going to be in this video. Uh, and maybe someday, hopefully soon, uh, we can get together again and do some more metal detecting. Uh, but life happens, you know. So, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's going to be uh, some pretty good finds here. And uh, like I said, this happened about two years ago. And uh, I took the videos and, and, you know, never made a video on YouTube. And I'm putting it out now. So good time to do it and uh, I'll just tell you uh, in the next coming weeks you know we'll see when they're gonna exactly when they're gonna come out if I if I end up finding some sites I can go to I'll be making videos of that uh, but I'll be sneaking in a couple more videos here and there and uh, I've got a couple just to plug right now I've got a couple of whopper finds uh, one of them I think is gonna blow your mind that's just uh, my opinion we'll see um, but yeah, there's, there's a couple of really, really good finds that uh, I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, and it'll be coming up soon. So stay tuned. But anyways, uh, enjoy the hunt. And we'll see you next week. Hey guys, we're, uh, we're back with another video. I'm sorry, it's been a very, very, very long time since we put out a video. Uh, but I got a little surprise for you guys. Here's Diggin' Don. You all know him. He's been in some of my recent videos, and here we go. Relic Ray. He's hey, back. Hey, hey. After a long absence, we found him. <laughs> He's rehired. We, <laughs> we fired him and rehired him. I hope. And uh, I hope. we got an old house here. We're gonna try to. We got two two properties. We got that one. We got a property across the street over there, and there's a field way out back here. That we're gonna check out. So hopefully we we'll have uh, some finds for you guys, and just good to be with the crew again. <laughs> One says he's got something. I'm over here digging a hole myself, and I got something too. But this we've been here what over half an hour, and this is the first stuff we find. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah. What is that? Don't know. Is it a coin or a button? That might be a coin. Huh? Eh, it's, it's a little convex. Unless it just got damaged somehow, but it it might be a medallion or a token or a button or who knows. Yeah, it's, it's got a got something on there. Pretty cool design. It's got some some meat on it. Yep. So 
We'll get it cleaned up and show you guys later, I guess. Yeah, Decent. one of us should uh, remember to bring the uh, spray bottle of water that I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea. I don't know silver yet, but... All right, let's go see what mine is. I've, I've got a button. And it's a dandy. I don't know if there's anything on it. Here it is. Looks like we got a shank. Oh, it's a tomback. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. Either that or it's silver plated. Might just be silver plated. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Silver plated. Cool. Get that cleaned up and show it to you. It doesn't look like there's any design on it or anything, so. Neat. Alright, we'll uh, be back with you soon, hopefully with some more stuff. Ray's got to get on the board now. Okay, got the first good coin of the day. You can see it's an Indian. One cent. Let's see what the date is. I got a wheat. Got a wheat. Looks like 87, I think. We're in uh, one of the yards now, the yard across the street that I showed you earlier. 1887 or 1. Cool. Hopefully we'll find some more stuff for you guys. There's got to be some silver here somewhere. We just got started in this yard. Okay, Ray just found his first find of the day. It's a possibly a sh uh, knee buckle. Looks pretty old. Silver plated. So, that's cool. Strap buckle, knee buckle, one of those. Alright. Hopefully we'll be back with some more. Hey guys, I got the first silver of the day. Right next to this big tree root here. See how big it is. <clears throat> and I've already seen it. Looks like a merc. And that's what it is. And see if we can get a date for you. 34? 30 something? 36? Something like that. Cool, on board with silver. We'll be back. Guys, we're back and uh, I just got this nice Merc here thanks to this guy right here who gave up on the signal. <laughs> It was literally like, I, it was stuck inside of the root. I could feel it with my fingernail. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> I prodded on it, and I did scratch it. But who cares, it's a Merc. And it's not a 16D or a 21, so I'm fine with that. So I'm cool, fine. so Ray's on board, and I'm it's half on half board. And half, half and half. <laughs> <laughs> we'll split it, how's that? <laughs> Just cut it down the middle. All right, we'll be back with some more, hopefully. I have a nice uh, earring here from Silver, silver I mean, uh, Dig and Don. <laughs> butterfly. Butterfly silver earring. Two little butterflies on it. Pretty cool. That's a man's find. Nice little, almost like cufflinks would be. Yep. Yeah. Very yep. tiny. Tiny silver. So that's cool. So we found several pieces of silver out of this yard. That's good. And uh, I'll probably wrap it up here pretty soon. It's getting kind of slow, but uh, who knows? We'll see. All right, we'll be back. Hey guys, just found a really cool two-piece button with a lot of gold gilt still on it. And I think we have a, well, maybe a broken shank. But it's got some uh, like star looking things on it. Pretty cool. It's probably clean up pretty good. Alright, on to the next. Alright, Digging Dawn just found this. It's a button with an iron back. <clears throat> but it's a big like, you know, kind of one of those buttons with something on it with a design. Kind of like the sporting buttons. Uh, but we're not sure exactly what it is. It looks like a woman. Possibly in a in a hammock, maybe maybe that's a hammock. I don't know. Just tell. throwing stuff out there, but we'll clean it up and figure it out what it is and let you know. 
But whatever it is, it's pretty cool. Congrats, buddy. Thank you. All right. We got. All right, I got something silver here. It looks like it might be a brooch. I don't have any water on me, so I'm gonna have to bring it back. Clean it up. Might be a handle or something like that, but it's decorative. It looks Victorian. It's got some fancy stuff going on. So I'll have to get it washed up and show it to you later. Cool. Hey, Don just got this really nice Conestoga bell. Right in the same vicinity of his Indian. Not very good lighting. It's not wanting to focus. But you can see it. Cool. Looks like an old one. All right, we'll be back. Is I just done something unprecedented. I've found three gold rings in a row now, hunting with Don. <laughs> Three hunts in a row I found a gold ring. And the numbers are right. I haven't even looked at it, but that's definitely gold. And it looks like a ruby stone or some sort of red stone, maybe garnet. Sweet. I don't know if it's brittle. I want to be careful with it. Okay. There we go, it looks pretty old too. Definitely gold with a stone. We'll get some water on it. It looks a little bent near the bottom. Get some water on it and show you in a bit. Sweet. Ray's got something. Yeah, I don't know if it's good or not. No shank, though. Shankless dandy. Wow, that's a big one, huh? It's got a little, you can see a little design, like a little, you know how they used to etch, like, tap over yep, the metal, yep. like flower. Yep. But. Not a chicken hunt. Cool. Yeah, there you go. I was hoping it was a coin. <laughs> yeah, kind of looks like one. Awesome. Nice dandy. All right, I got something silver here. It looks like it might be a brooch. I don't have any water on me, so I'm going to have to bring it back. Clean it up. Might be a handle or something like that, but it's decorative. It looks Victorian. It's got some fancy stuff going on. So I'll have to get it washed up and show it to you later. Cool. Okay, Don has another uh, Indian head. Looks like a good one this time. 71, 74 probably. Wishing it was a 77, but cool. It's my flat button. Oh, and he's got a, looks like a Tom back, right? No, yeah. no, it's no? just a regular flat button. Cool. I got this. Not sure what that is. Could be a piece of junk. I'm not sure. I really haven't looked at it. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty light, whatever yeah. it is. Cool. All right, we'll be back. So uh, this little area here is loaded with a lot of good low signals. Good, you know, that turned out to be good things. This is like some kind of Boy Scout pin or button or something. For like a two-year two, anniversary. Two-year anniversary. Yeah. This is a, like a lead. <coughs> excuse me lead button or something with something on it. It's pretty old. <clears throat> Definitely old. Looks like the Knights Templar cross. <laughs> so <laughs> probably the Knights Templar has been here. Yeah. Most definitely. Couldn't be anything else. So. Stand by, we may dig up the Holy Grail. Yeah. Maybe the Ark of the Covenants here. That'd be cool. That would be very cool. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, Don's yelling at me, so there must be something good over here. 
What do you get? Well, I saw a glint that looked like silver. Nice. I just got a Merc. Uh, it's in here. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's silver. What's the size? Quarter. Oh, nice. That's Washington. Washington. Yeah. 49. Cool. 49. Nice. All right, you're on board. Yes, sir. Time for Ray to get on board. Let's just make sure it doesn't have any friends in there. Yeah. This is a lonely Washington yep. quarter. Oh, whoa, whoa. That sounded like maybe iron or something though with it. I can see it right there. There's a nail. It's a nail. Something. Something iron. Yeah. All right, we'll be back if there's some more. Yep. Okay, Don has another Indian. Another copper nickel. You mean nice. another fatty? Old fatty, cool. <laughs> I love old fatties. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? Mm. Uh -oh. There they go. Cool. Hopefully we get a date for that. Two, two in one day, huh? Yep. That's pretty good. We've got, yeah. what, four Indians today, I think? Yeah. Now you got to find a flying eagle. Yeah. Fatty eagle. <laughs> All right, we'll be back.